Welcome to Hello Monday, where Rachel talks all things ballet and fitness, sharing strategies and techniques to help you start, grow, and create a thriving business using your passion for ballet and fitness. And here's your host, Rachel Withers. Hi there, hi there, and welcome to another Hello Monday. I hope you've all had an absolutely amazing weekend and are feeling lovely and refreshed for the week. Um, Hello Monday is where we talk about all topics which are ballet and fitness. And as always, please say hello in the comments box. You just know how I love to know who I'm chatting to. It's great to have you all here. Um, and tonight, we're going to be talking about nailing your pitch. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And it's going to be really about getting that really concise and that compelling pitch that you can really use when you're going to networking events, whether you're explaining to a client, a customer, exactly what you do. And that's what we're going to be really talking about tonight. So we're going to be talking about nailing that pitch. Um, as always, great to have you here. It's going to be a really good session again. Um, so please say hello, everybody. So as you know, um, for those of you who might haven't joined us before for a Hello Monday, I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and I'm the CEO of Bally Be Fit. And every single Monday at 7 p.m. at UK time, we really go live in this group, the Bally Fitness Room. We go live in here to really talk about the topics uh, about ballet, about fitness, but also really to help you start, grow and scale your very own fitness business, whether that's using my ballet inspired methods or whether that's actually really to help you grow your own um, fitness business practice using other methods such as yoga, such as Pilates, whatever it is, that is really what we do in here we're really here to support you in growing and start and really scaling that fitness business and so hi there hi mandy great to have you joining us tonight lovely to have you here so as i say tonight it is really all about nailing your pitch that's what we're going to be talking about tonight that's really what it's about and a pitch really the pitch is it needs to be concise it needs to be compelling and it really needs to be an introduction that can be um communicated and it's all about really we call the pitch we call it an elevator pitch and it's imagining i think it's about the uh, to the third floor in an elevator or as we would say a lift but we call it an elevator pitch and it's to be between it's to be either 30 or sort of 60 seconds long, depending on which floor you're going to. And it really needs to really succinctly state what you do uh, and in a way that your audience is really going to understand very, 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 very quickly what you do. And um, really, you have to also build that interest. And that's what we're talking about tonight. It is really about nailing your pitch. And hi, Debbie. Hi. Great to have you joining us as well tonight. So the reason why I wanted to really talk about this is because now we're actually kind of moving out of uh, lockdown and everything we, i wanted to kind of really think about if you can get to networking events really how an elevator pitch can support you and also how you can use it when you're communicating with your clients and really talking about exactly what you do so it's really to help you in networking events and, and any kind of mixes that you might be kind of going to and say you're actually even trying to um get get a deal with a new venue you know whatever it is that you're doing um just really to explain very very quickly what you do and if you're attending like professional associations that type of thing whatever activity is just a type of gathering whatever it is whether it's on zoom whether it's um in person really it's important to have a pitch ready so that you can really share that with the people that you meet so that's what we're going to be really talking about tonight and has anybody, if you put in the comments box, has anybody already got any kind of pictures? Have they already thought of their elevator pitch? Have you got one ready? Have you done one before? Are you using it? Do you find it's 
helpful when you're doing it for um, really networking, let me know in the comments box what your thoughts are about an elevator pitch, whether you've actually even thought about it. And as I say, it needs to be really restricted to 30 to sort of seconds. Um, you're not really wanting to include your entire work history and your career objectives. It really is um, to just a short recap of who you are and really what you do. So it's a 30 second really memorable description of what you do uh, or, or what you sell, whatever it is. And the goal really is here to earn you know, a, 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 com a second conversation, really get a conversation going. And it's not about convincing the person you're talking to that they should immediately hire or buy your solution straight away. This is really like your first kind of intro. That's what an elevator pitch is. Hi, Kelly, great to have you on here as well. And that's what we're going to be talking about um, uh, tonight. And then, um, De Debbie's just sort of saying that she's really started thinking about it since joining the Ballet Be Fit team, really thinking about her elevator pitch. And what you need to be here is in it, you do need to be really persuasive. Uh, even though it's a short pitch, it really should be compelling enough to really spark the, the listener's interest in your idea, your concept, your background, everything that you do. You want to really share your skills. Your elevator pitch should explain who you are and if you've got any qualifications and, and skills, really put them in as well and try and focus on assets that add value in many situations. That's really what you want to be doing here. And this is this is your chance to really kind of brag about it without, you know, you don't want to sound boastful, but you do really want to share. You want to bring, you know, bring your skills to the table. That's really what you want to do. And another thing with your elevator pitch, it's really important that you practice, practice, practice because the best way for you to feel comfortable about giving an elevator pitch is to practice it until the speed and the pitch come naturally to you so it doesn't sound you know you don't want to be sounding robotic with it um so you need to kind of really get used to varying it uh, and, and trying it in conversation so that you can practice it as you go along and the more you practice the easier it will be to deliver it really will and then when you're at your networking events, it's going to not like kind of come across like a like a robotic or you really aren't comfortable with it. So practice, practice your speech, practice recording it and practice it with a friend. And this will really help you know whether you're keeping within the time limit of kind of the 30 to the 60 seconds and you are giving a coherent message so practice it with a friend or record it because it's really useful to to do that and then you can hear kind of your tone and how it's how it's really working and it's important as well to be kind of really positive and really flexible with it because you really want to deliver a pitch in that way because you want to come across as open-minded, as a flexible person. So you don't want to kind of really give it in a way that doesn't uh, doesn't really demonstrate that. So you you really want to make sure that it, it's it's really creating that first impression. So make sure as well what you do is make sure that you mention your goals you don't need to be too specific with it but um I, I, I just, an overly targeted goal isn't really going to kind of really isn't going to be helpful for your pitch um but you need to kind of set what you kind of what your mission is what your goal is what you what what you do but you you really want to really think uh, think about that. It, what is your goal? Your goal is, my goal is to deliver accessible fitness. Whatever it is, really think about that and how that can be put into your elevator pitch. I'd like to see some yeses coming through, kind of really just let me know that you're getting this, getting where I'm coming from um, on this. That would be uh, really great. So, we just got to kind of really make it vibrant, really make it kind of feel open-minded, really make it feel very, very flexible. Put a goal in there, put what your mission is in there. And what another thing is, 
who you're talking to you really need to know your audience and you really need to speak to them um and sometimes jargon can be useful yes it can and it can be powerful because it can really demonstrate your industry knowledge but you know if you're going to be using jargon in your elevator pitch just remember who you're talking to are they going to understand the jargon because if you are putting terms in there that are unfamiliar and are actually off-putting, it's it's really not going to help your, your your well you. It's not going to help your pitch at all. So really be kind of quite considerate about what you do in terms of um, jargon and what you're putting in there. And thank you for sharing that. Um, we're totally getting what I'm speaking uh, about. Really good. So I'm kind of what I thought I'd do tonight is I thought I would actually go through um, a bit of a template with you on really uh, writing your your pitch and that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm just going to I'm actually going to be pulling up a template as well so that's what we need to be doing so what we need to really think about is the first thing here and this is what we're going to go through is um, a template for your pitch so what I'd have is make sure you got your pen paper handy we're going to now go through um actually constructing um I'm going to construct my own elevator pitch that's what i'm going to do with you tonight and you'll be able to use that as an example and i'm going to construct an elevator pitch as if i um, am um, a provider of um, my ballet inspired fitness method but i'm actually doing it to the consumer and i'm not doing it to to you guys as instructors i'm doing it to uh, somebody who possibly wants to sign up for my um, ballet inspired fitness classes something like that and that's what i'm going to kind of go through with you tonight so i'm going to create a pitch that really you could do for yourself but obviously you'll need to tweak it but that's what we're going to go through tonight we're going to go through um really creating a template for your pitch so the first thing that you really need to think about is who are you that's the first thing that we need to be thinking about so before you kind of jumping into your pitch you do need to introduce yourself to whoever you're talking to. So what you need to do is you need to write a sentence about who you are and what your role is. Um, if you you don't always have to put your, what, what your role is, but you can do that. For example, um, I'm Rachel Withers and I'm the founder and CEO of Ballet B Fit. That's That could be the opening of who you are. And this is gonna really help you start the conversation on the really on the right foot. But it's always important, and, and I've got here, I, have, I can see a little, um, a few emojis just come through. I can see a pen, a notebook, and a smiley face. So pen, notebook, and smiley face. So thank you for that. <laughs> that's brilliant, uh, that's made me smile. So we're gonna really go through, um, go through this tonight. So what I want you to do is introduce yourself. I'm Rachel Withers, I'm the founder and CEO of Ballet Be Fit. And what you've got to do here as well is you've got to remember not to ramble. And remember that with, with an elevator pitch, you right at the beginning, you haven't actually got the prospect's interest or their attention yet. So they don't really care who you are yet. yet. And they don't really care kind of how long you uh, work doing what you're doing or what job you've had before keep the information about yourself to a minimum and you what you're doing here is you then are going to be able to earn the right to share more later um later on so that's what you've got to be really thinking about hi there um great for you joining no worries that you're late it's absolutely fine sorry i can't see your name great to great to have you on here and um, so what we're doing is we are talking about the elevator pitch we're talking about nailing that pitch and what we're doing right now is we are going through a kind of a structure to that uh elevator pitch that's what we're doing um we're going to focus on that so the first one what i'm saying to you is say who you are so i'm rachel withers the founder and ceo of ballet be fit and as i've said remember not to ramble don't go into too much detail about what you do you haven't earned your uh, prospects 
um, really haven't earned your prospects interest yet so make sure that you don't ramble on then what you want to do is you want to say what you do or what your business does and so you need to have a clear understanding of what you are of what your business does and what's your mission what's your business mission mission what's your goals what for whatever kind of product service class whatever it is what are the goals for what you're doing and you need to include this in your pitch and you can you do this kind of at the beginning where you're introducing yourself and then kind of go into a little bit more about your company so the more you know about your mission the more you know about your goals the easier it is going to be really to uh, to cater your pitch to the person that you're talking to because you're going to be sometimes you might have to adapt it slightly so for example here i'm going to give you i'm going to move on with this a little bit and i'm going to go a little bit more into detail of an example hi my name is rachel withers i'm the founder and ceo of Bally Be Fit, and i help people change their lives whether it's following my Bally Be Fit method to lose weight and increase strength, building their confidence through my life coaching programs. I take an holistic approach to happiness. And that's kind of uh, bringing in a little bit more about what I do. So I'll say that again as an example. Hi, my name is Rachel Withers and I help people change their lives, whether it's following my Bally Be Fit method to lose weight and increase strength or building their confidence through my life coaching programs. I take a holistic approach to happiness and well-being. Okay, so we're kind of really building, building this up right now. Okay, so then the next, so what we've done, so first of all, what we've done is we've introduced ourselves. So this is the first part of the structure. We've introduced ourselves. I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and CEO of Bally Be Fit. And then I'm going into what I do or what my business does, what my company does, what my mission is. So I'm, hi, I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and CEO of Bally Be Fit. And I help people change their lives, whether it's following my Bally Be Fit method to lose weight and increase strength, building their confidence through my life coaching programs. I take an holistic approach to happiness and well-being. So you can see how I'm putting all this together. This is a really succinct uh, description of what of what I do, of what my business does, of what Ballet Befit does. And it's but it's without getting into kind of all the all the weeds. So it's really we're cutting, you know, we're cutting this to really off after two sentences. To it's about two sentences. So the prospect knows exactly who you are and what you do. So if you've got any kind of thoughts there, love to see them coming through in the comments box. Put some put some comments in as to if you've thought about a couple of lines to say what you could do. So I'm going to give you the example again. So we're going to kind of really go on this and this will just help you to really think. So, hi, I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and CEO of Bally Be Fit. And I help people change their lives, whether it's following my Bally Be Fit method to lose weight and increase strength, building their confidence through my life coaching programs. I take an holistic approach to happiness and well-being. So I've kind of, in a nutshell, sort of said what I've do, done. I've said I've got a, a Bally Be Fit method, which helps lose weight and increase strength. And I also said that I help build confidence through my life coaching programs. And I take a completely holistic approach to happiness and well-being. So in a, a very short sentences, I've really said what, what I do and how I do it. So that's um, and what my business does. So I want you to really think about that. And then we're going to talk about the next step of this, step number three. And step number three is what's the value proposition? And that's what we're going to do. So what does what do you do or what does your business do exceptionally well that really sets you and your service apart from the rest? And then what you want to be doing here is you want to write a brief one to two sentence statement about the value that you offer or your service provides to current customers. So what you've done here, you need to be thinking about what's the value proposition. So really begin to think about what is your value proposition proposition so think about what is it that you do 
your business does that you do exceptionally well, that really sets you apart, that makes you stand out, that you deliver that better service than any of your competitors. Really think about that and then you want to kind of put it into a brief one to two sentence statement. So really think about what value that you add that makes you really stand out to your competitors. So what you've done, so let's just say here what you've done, you've introduced yourself, you've introduced your company and you've really kind of gone through uh, what you do, how you do it. And then you're going to talk about how you step really are kind of set so much. You, you, you stand out from the crowd. That's what you really want to think about here. So this is kind of uh, what I've sort of put in um, on this part. So I'm a former ballerina who trained with the Royal Ballet. I'm a licensed life coach and the proud owner, owner of an inspiring business. I create easy to follow programs. So I'm saying what my value is, easy to follow programs with a support network another value with a support network that can be completed at home. It means I can help more people than ever before make a positive change and become the very best version of themselves. So I'm adding that value in. So I've told the prospect really what sets us as a business, as a company apart. And that's what I'm doing. And this is how you bring them you bring the value to them and you really by this time now you've really likely to have piqued their interest and this is how you really grab their attention okay but there is also another step to really take it to the next level to grab their attention but i want you to think about what value do you offer what sets you apart so let me see in the comments box some coming through what value do you offer what sets you apart and start to think about that so I'm, i've given them a, a, a bit of my um skills my um uh, you know my, what i what i am so i'm a former dancer i've trained with the royal ballet i'm a licensed licensed life coach and i'm the proud owner of my of an inspiring business. So I'm really saying that my business is inspiring, it's out there, and what I do as value is I create easy to follow programs with a support network value, so easy support network, benefit completed at home. It means I can help, what makes it even better, it means I can help more people than ever, make a positive change and become the very best versions of themselves. So that's what I'm adding in here. So these are all the things that you need to be thinking about. But we've got that far. So we've what we've let's go through the steps. So step one, who you are. Step two, what does you what do you do? What does your business do? What does your company do? So who you are, what does your business do? What do you do? And also how you do it. And what's your value proposition? What what you know, re what really sets you apart? Really put that in there as well. So those are the three steps. Now we're going to go for step four, which is about grabbing their attention. So you really now want to pull your audience in. You want to do that with kind of uh, uh, um, like an... A stat is something really kind of uh, good to do, but something that's really going to affect a stat, something like that, that's really going to kind of off, offer more, that's really going to pull your audience in. An intention grabbing hook, this is what it is. It's an attention grabbing hook. It will keep people engaged with what you are saying. So let me... Let me finish my pitch up now, because that's what I'm doing here. I'm finishing my pitch up with a really grabbing sort of stat, fact, really. On average, we're able to help women achieve their weight loss and fit fitness goals in just 16 weeks. So that's what I'm saying. So at the end of my pitch, I'm saying, if you've joined me, you are going to be able to achieve your weight loss on your and your fitness goals in just 16 weeks so that's my that's my hook that's really me grabbing their attention so what i'm saying here is on average we're able to help women achieve their weight loss and fitness goals in 16 weeks so that's what i kind of want you to think about what like fact can you kind of put into your pitch that really hook your audience in and that's what you're really going to be thinking about so what what's the template so the template here so 
who you are. What do you do? What does your company do? What's your value, value proposition? Really think about that. Then step four, your hook, grabbing their attention. And that's the four steps to nailing your pitch. And that's what I really want you to think about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through my pitch again uh, with you so that you can really see exactly um, how it all fits together. So I'm actually going to kind of put that all together now for you. And what you want to do is you really want to read your pitch aloud and you make sure that it, it sounds, make sure it feels natural to, to you. If your pitch is over, overly formal, you, you, you know, you could come across as a little bit stuffy, a little bit uptight. Make your pitch conversational. It's really important to make it conversational. And the pitch that we've kind of been working on is 30 seconds long. And this really is a good length and it gives you it gives you time to elaborate if you need to with your prospect. And that's what we're going to go. And now what I've done for you is I've actually created um, two pitches for you. One that's a one minute elevator pitch and then one that is the 30 second elevator pitch that we've gone through. So I'm going to do my 30 second elevator pitch for you now. Hi, my name is Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and CEO of Ballybefit, and I help people change their lives. Whether it's following my Ballybefit method to lose weight and increase strength, building their confidence through my life coaching programs, or supporting or supporting them, I take a holistic approach to happiness and well-being. How do I help my clients? I help them. I'm a former ballerina who trained with the Royal Ballet, a licensed life coach and the proud owner of an inspiring business. I create easy to follow programs with a support network that can be completed at home. It means I can help more people than ever before and make a positive change and become the best version of themselves. And on average, we're able to help women achieve their weight loss and fitness goals in 16 weeks. So I've kind of put that pitch together for you. So I'm going to read it out again for you. And this is the 30 second one. So I'm going to read this one out again for you. Hi, I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and the CEO of Bally Befit, and I help people change their lives. Whether it's following my Bally Be Fit method to lose weight and increase strength, building their confidence through my life coaching programs, I take an holistic approach to happiness and well-being. I'm a former ballerina who trained with the Royal Ballet. I'm a licensed life coach and the proud owner of an inspiring business. I create easy to follow programs with a support network that can be completed at home. It means I can help more people than ever before make a positive change and become the very best version of themselves. On average, we're able to help women achieve their weight loss and fitness goals in just 16 weeks. So that's my 30 second elevator pitch. And now what I'm going to kind of show you is I'm going to show you a one minute um, elevator pitch. So it's just kind of expanded on that 30 on that 30 second one. So and I kind of mixed it up a little bit. And this is just really to give you you guys kind of examples of what you can do. So, hi, I'm Rachel Withers. I'm the founder and CEO of Bally Be Fit, And I'm passionate about helping people achieve their goals. I'm a life coach and former dancer. I create unique programs that focus on everything from health and fitness to personal well-being and development. My approach is holistic. I treat my clients as a whole, building them up so they discover their inner confidence and can go out and make a positive change for themselves. The beauty of my solutions and training programs is they, that they fit around my clients' lives, based online and supported by an encouraging community. I have created an ecosystem that encourages them every step of the way. Perhaps it's the dedication I had when training with the Royal Ballet or the tools I learned through coaching. Either way, I'm proud to have built up a successful company from scratch. That's 
What started my innovative Bally Be Fit method was helping people become strong and lean has grown to encompass whole lifestyle overhauls. My aim is to go out there and change the world one person at a time, inspiring them and giving them back their self-belief. And on average, I am helping women achieve their weight loss and fitness goals with in just 16 weeks. So you can see how I've really elaborated that one out. And I'm gonna read it one more time for you just to kind of give you the idea again. So this is like a one minute elevator pitch. So, hi, I'm Rachel Withers. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Bally Be Fit, and I'm passionate about helping people achieve their goals. I'm a life coach and former dancer. I create unique programs that focus on everything from health and wellness to personal well-being and development. My approach is holistic. I treat my clients as a whole, building them up so they discover their inner confidence and can go out and make a positive change for themselves. The beauty of my solutions and training programs is that they fit around my clients' lives, based online and supported by an encouraging community. I have created an ecosystem that encourages them every step of the way. Perhaps it's the dedication I had when training with the Royal Ballet School or the tools I learned through coaching. Either way, I'm proud to have built up a successful company from scratch. What started with my innovative Bally Be Fit method, helping people become strong and lean, has grown to encompass whole lifestyle overhauls. My aim is to go out there and change the world one person at a time, inspiring them and giving them back their self-belief. And on average, I am able to help women achieve their weight loss, their fitness goals, and improve their confidence in just 16 weeks. So, I hope that has given you an example of two elevator pictures. Um, uh, please put in the kind of the comment box if that's actually helped you kind of get a real idea of what of what you can do with a pitch. And I'd listen to this again. You know that this goes on to the the podcast so you can listen to it you can go to the youtube it's in here so i hope it's really given you some great ideas to really think about how you can deliver your pitch really nail your pitch and remember the four key steps for doing this is introduce who you are say what you cause say what you do say what your business does what's your value proposition Really think about your value proposition and then grab their attention with. So I hope that that has really, really helped you. Um, I'm getting some great comments through. So thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Mandy. You're saying that you really kind of enjoyed it and you found it um, helpful and supportive. So listen to it again. Take some notes. And I thought it'd be good to use some examples, really, and think about that pitch template so think about the four steps to it so really think about those four steps who you are what you do value proposition and grab their attention that hook those are the four steps if you use them you're gonna you're gonna nail your pitch so that's really me done for tonight with talking about nailing your pitch I hope you guys have all really enjoyed it what I want to say to you is um, as well on Wednesday at 3 p.m. on the Rachel Withers HQ Facebook page. Um, I have my Mindset Matters show going at 3 p.m. this Wednesday, and I've got a really great special guest joining me. I've got a guest called Mark Kennedy. He's an actor. He's been accepted into Spotlight, which is the industry's leading casting platform. He's got lots of professional credits to a name he's had several roles um on the bbc itv netflix he studied at shoebox theater and he's currently studying with the aci actors coaching international so he is incredible and he has an absolute passion for all things that are creative since a very young age and the reason why I've asked him to join us is that he believes, as I do, that we all have a gift and that we should share it with the others. And that's what we talk about in terms of pursuing your passion. So the team, can you just put a reminder up 
for joining me on Rachel Withers HQ live for my Mindset Matters with my special guest, Mark Kennedy. That's 3 p.m. on Wednesday. I do hope you can join me. It's going to be absolutely a great session. It's going to be a really good one. And then um, I've just got we're talking about kind of pursuing your passion, really following your dreams. Um, also, just a little reminder, if you haven't already done so, please go and get my Dream Life Journal and Planner. It is packed with absolutely some beautiful, beautiful kind of guides for you. I don't know whether I'll try and get it as near. It's got some inspirational quotes and it really talks about how to kind of manifest your um, dream life. We've got productivity and time management, um, a monthly focus. So you've got a calendar here um, and everything. It's got absolutely, um, you can write your daily tasks down and everything. Um, Kelly's just saying she's got her planner. Mandy's saying she's got her planner. It is beautiful. It's nice and thick. It's got lots of pages for journal reflection i hope you're all using that guys um i love it super super proud of it um it is exceptionally um useful go to the ballyby fit store to pick that up um it's really great and um, thank you kelly glad you really are uh, liking it and it's beautiful um super proud of it as i say it's really thick got absolutely everything in it really to get you to really have that dream life so it's my dream life journal and planner okay so um the guys have put all the details on what it has in the comments box as well um they do much better task at telling uh, telling you all about what i do so i hope anyway to see you on wednesday for mindset matters because we really talk about the mindset on um, my show mindset matters so that's on the rachel withers hq facebook page so join that also if you haven't already done so i do have another facebook group the success connection go into that group as well because i'm going to be doing a lot of mindset work in there very very soon so please uh, go to that facebook group as well um, and i look forward to seeing you on wednesday at 3 p.m i look forward to seeing you next week for another mindset matters um, not mindset matters for another hello monday too much going on too much going on look forward to seeing um you then enjoy the rest of your evening if you haven't already done so please get get a journal it's fantastic super super proud of it uh, and it really will help you have your dream life and pursue your passion good night everybody enjoy the rest of your evening or the rest of your day wherever you are been great chatting with you tonight and i will see you all wednesday i hope or next week for hello monday take care everybody have a great evening rest of your day thanks for tuning in to hello monday be sure to visit the Ballet Fitness Room to join the conversation, access the show notes and discover our fantastic bonus content. Join us next time for more tips and techniques. Bye for now.